hello hello and welcome to a video I think you'll find informative as in I'm putting out a new way to do broken pillars when you've lost pillars on your die casts I was finding the old way was fiddly and it was hard to get the pillars to stay in place once they were in place they broke off easy when you were trying to file them and sand them and I thought there must be an easier way to make them stronger so I've done a basic video here we have is a car I'm doing at the moment and as you can see it's missing a pillar quite quite a bad bit of shit really because it don't look right anyway I start off by trying to scratch the paint off because I primed it ready for paint perhaps I should have waited till I've done this but I still have to rub it down anyway and do filling and do a little bit of a re-prime so hey ho anyway I found scratching with scissors weren't getting me any satisfaction so I got the grinder out what you're aiming to do with a grinder is do a little bit of a pit so it's a little bit deeper than the surrounding metal around it you only need a little bit probably one thou whatever not a lot you don't need a lot off only the thickness of the metal you're going to be using but just just grind it and give yourself a little bit of space to work into here I'm giving it a good bit of a grind because I like grinding on the quiet you misses Anyway, we're grinding complete. I'll start on my next phase, which will be in a minute, because I've probably left this run too long. We'll get rid of the body, move the camera, and next you need a bit of sheet brass. Fairly thin sheet brass, like you want, want to be able to cut it with scissors which I'm doing here, I'm cutting a thin thin strip of sheet brass off that's going to be around the thickness of the pillar, it doesn't matter because you're going to be filing anyway to get the pillar to shape and you're going to be filing, sanding etc so it doesn't matter and there we go, it's just Modeler's sheet brass, you'll get it on eBay. We don't have Eileen's Emporium now. And here we are. I've done it again. I did it twice. I'm a bit dim. I forgot I hadn't. I forgot I'd done it on the other clip, so I've got another clip we you know. It shows you anyway. You just want a very thin strip. Uh, rounds about your pillar thickness round about doesn't have to be spot on and the next thing is I should go on to show you is flattening the brass because it gets curved from cutting like a scimitar it gets a wee bit curved And here we had. I've left too much in, so I'll just ad lib a bit as we go in. But yeah, most of the content you can find. Some are available in your supermarket. Some you'll have to get from model shops and online. But in the main, most of the materials, apart from the sheet brass, are available in your supermarket supermarket sell super glue in the 
Sheep brass anyway. What the hell are you doing, James? There we go. Get it on camera, it'll help. And there we go, I've flattened it out. And I'll show another method, I think. Unlike how I'm showing it here. Flatten it with the scissors, do one side. Then flip it over. Flatten it again. And we're ready for the next stage. Which will be another... Oh, no, there we go. And there we go, I missed out. What you do, you press it. Into your recesses with super glue. And put some baking powder on top. As by the old method. Except now with this method. You've got a bigger footprint. And you're aiming. Taking the. Thickness off the metal inside. And dropping the brass down into it. It's allowing for the glass to go in. Without anything obstructing it. And you've got a bigger footprint. And metal behind it to give more strength. Like I say, use the baking powder on top of the super glue. You still use that method as per the older method. And once you've done that, cut off a small rivet. Cut the head off it and down to size, the size you want for your pillar. And then what you do, you glue it over the top with plenty of super glue. And have the bottom touching the bottom and the top touching your roof as per the old method. And put super glue over then the baking powder. And then I put filler over the top to give a bit more well, it'll make it a bit posher once it's filed and sanded. And there we go, I'm just I'm just fiddling with the filler. But it's got a bit that needs for filler. And there's the reason the window will fit in snug. Because you've basically ground a pit for the metal to go into rather than just putting in on how it was because that'll intrude into the casting then and your window won't go in snug so you need to take some off before you glue it in so your window will still fit snug and there we go the window's in snug and that's before I even start sanding so really it looks like it'll only need a fettle on the outside then it'll be ready for spraying this one by the way is ready for me cops and robbers theme build and if you think you've got it you're way off if you think you've got who I'm doing you're absolutely way off or you may be right who knows anyways where we are where we're up to, it's ready for sanding and filing, sanding, then a reprimer, see where we stand, and then after that, if it's right, get some paint on and Bob's your auntie, Fanny's your uncle. Anyway, hope this has been helpful to builders, and for now, tatty pie, everybody. Tati Pai!